I want to talk about a new story that I originally heard about on the Kyle Kalinske show on YouTube, which took place in Tennessee. Local news sources also reported on it. I'll include all the links in the description. So this is a heartbreaking story where a woman is being evicted from her home due to some unpaid medical debt from her deceased husband's mother. So she was served an eviction notice while in the hospital because she has COVID-19. So she claims she did not have the opportunity to show up in court due to missing the notice and being sick. And she's currently on oxygen, so trying to get her strength back. Apparently she has, is doing okay um, after having gotten COVID-19 from a friend who also had started getting symptoms shortly after they met together. Now, the house is apparently in probate court from which she's being evicted from because it would have traditionally been given to her when her husband passed away, but apparently it's being tossed around in the court because her husband's mother had unpaid medical debt. So in order to pay for several thousand dollars of debt, they are dumping this lady onto the street. They took the stuff out of her house, put it on the lawn, and albeit luckily some volunteers heard about this story and came by to try to help her because she's being thrown out. They disconnected her from her oxygen in the house to throw her on the lawn. So they dumped everything out. Some police are there as well as the person who is carrying out the eviction. And let me just show you a little bit of a clip here from local news coverage. So I've got a friend who was getting evicted. They're throwing everything on the front street. Bunch of cops and sheriffs here. Just came out of the blue. This attorney, Anthony Bradley, said his mother owed medical bills. He went to court while I was in the hospital. I've got COVID, as you know, the heart. The pressure's up to 150. So your partner <laughs> left you this house. Yes, I've got paperwork, but they've all got it. And you've currently got COVID? Yes. I've been so, in the hospital. There's some medical bills that my partner's mother owed. They came after it almost two years after she died. So they're trying to sell the house to pay her bills. I offered to pay him. He apparently set a court date while I was in the hospital, but nobody served me or let me know. The opposing attorney said the house was abandoned while she was in the hospital with COVID-19. One, two, three, four, five police cars. There's some other coverage also on commercial appeal about this uh, actual incident in Raleigh, Tennessee. And luckily she has received some help and people have reached out to figure something out. She had a, a GoFundMe. But uh, the underlying situation here, here's the quick GoFundMe, where people have reached out to help her get a place to stay meanwhile since her house is being sold to cover this medical debt of her um, mother-in-law that the court has gone after. So, of course, it, you really, it is true that, in general, you have to right, go by the book and actually right, pay bills and things and follow the rules and such. But this specific example demonstrates something which is rather callous of the system to do. In which case, I'm not even sure if you should be held responsible for your mother-in-law's debt, right? And the fact of the matter is, in order to collect these number of thousands of dollars, which it's true that someone is owed that money, but to get to that point, they kicked this woman out. She is in declining health. And had no one reached out to her or no one been willing to help, she would very likely be homeless at this moment and have nowhere to go, sick and dying on the street. So the way the system kind of treats people who really have not committed a crime necessarily, but may have just gotten caught up in a bad situation, it's, in some ways, it's evil to, to do this to people and throw them out. Now, she did claim that she was trying to pay the bill in some way. Um, I, ha I have not a way to verify that at the moment. But in general, she did seem collected on the, um, on the video and genuine. Now, it, like I said, it can't be verified. 
um, with my sources. But the underlying point here is that the underlying point here is that you've got to find a system that works for people so that you're not being just thrown away, especially if you're sick, like to have some safety nets to help you out. And you should not always pursue a dollar above everything else, above people's lives, right? So in order to collect a few thousand dollars, they're going to sell this house and kick the lady out and put her on the street with no concern for where she will go. And you could say it's like not like not society's concern, but at the same time, we have a responsibility to care about people and imagine if this was someone you cared about and if the system did this to them, how enraged you would be at such a case. So we have to reflect on our system, our medical system, our courts, our legal system, and how it all works, and make sure that we're not being monsters to people. We can still have a system where people have to follow the rules and everyone, in the end, gets paid and such, but if the process of getting there, if you have to be evil to get there, then perhaps we need to make some changes to the system to help people so that they're not treated like garbage.